everyone, this is Josh Hannigan. This is the first of a series of videos we're going to do about supplements. And I really feel it's an opportunity for us to talk to you about supplementation and what all these words and all this stuff means, because there's a lot that's out there. And we're going to start with a product. It's a very well-known company in the supplement industry, and it's called Optimum Nutrition Pro Complex. The reason I want to review this product is because it's a well-known company in the industry, and you'll see that symbol a lot different websites, different places that you go. What is ProComplex? ProComplex is a protein blend of three proteins. Whey protein, egg protein, and the amino acid leucine. According to the label on the back, one serving equals 30 grams of protein. Now, let's break down what that actually means. Well, let's start with whey. Whey is a fast digesting protein. What makes it so great is that it's a fast digesting, which means the body absorbs it easily and quickly, and it's digested very easily, so for recovery post-workout or energy before a workout. And also, it's great if you just want to have a meal replacement sometime later in the day. Also, egg protein. Basically, the concept is that egg is a medium digesting protein, which means the body takes a little longer to process it, and the effects of it last longer after ingesting. The third element we mentioned was leucine. What is leucine? Leucine is an amino acid that is very important for protein synthesis. What is protein synthesis? That is when the body is initialized to absorb protein and create replacement muscle for what has already been torn or injured, whether it's, you know, you actually been injured in an accident or if it's something where you've been working out and you've got small muscle tears which lead to um, lactic acid buildup, so you want recovery. Now, the reason why I want you to remember that it's a protein blend is because when the product says there's 30 grams of protein, that is based on a analysis that says that the total value is 30 grams of protein. A little bit deceptive though because of the fact that leucine is not a complete protein. Leucine is an amino acid, so it has limited benefits. Whereas whey, egg, soy, casein, chicken, beef, all these different things are complete proteins and the body absorbs it and uses it readily and immediately. Whereas an amino acid is a building block of proteins and is used to jumpstart the absorption of protein, but can't replace protein's value altogether. All right, so let's get into using this product. I got this sample packet in the mail, and I thought, I'll try it out, even though I read the ingredients and I realized that this isn't what I would use. But I thought, you know what, for the sake of everybody out there, I want to explain to you why it doesn't work and how it affected me. So I'm lactose intolerant. So I already knew going into this, I might have some problems with this. Well, when I first tried it, it recommends that you mix it with some water or something else. So I used a shaker cup about this size. I filled it about halfway, you know, roughly around here. It tasted thin. It basically tasted like chocolate water, which is great if you love chocolate water. I don't love chocolate water. If I'm going to have chocolate, I want it to be something that's substantive. It was very thin. It, it tasted weird, had a strange texture. So I wasn't really happy with the taste at all. But then there was the next problem. For the next several days, I had numerous digestive problems. And I'm not gonna get into those details because that's TMI. But the thing I wanna tell you is that I walked into this knowing what the side effects could be. I knew I could end up having problems and I did. So if you're lactose intolerant or you have other, like maybe a gluten allergy, uh, maybe you have other issues that are you know, GI tract related, this is probably not a product that you want to you know, risk yourself trying to figure out the use. And it is because of two things. One, because this company, Optimum Nutrition, did not make a protein blend that was low in lactose. In fact, it's listed on there that they put lactase elements into the ingredients. The other problem with this product, like I said, is that it's amino acid based adding up to the 30 grams of protein, which is a bit deceptive because leucine is not a protein, it's an amino acid. The reason why that's a problem is because there's been numerous studies done that show 
that people who use amino acids as a replacement for protein, that causes metabolic imbalance. Layman's terms translation, you mess up your metabolism and you may be not losing weight or gaining weight like you wanted to. You know, some people want to bulk when they put extra amino acids in their products. Or some people are trying to lose weight. If you don't know exactly what you're putting into your body, measuring wise, then guess what? You're hurting yourself in the long run. Here's the final takeaway. For a well-respected company like Optimum Nutrition to put out a protein blend product that on the other side says 30 grams of protein, but yet you would read that ingredients list. What is part of that protein blend? Leucine. Also on that list is glutamine. Glutamine is another amino acid. There are several amino acids in this product that are adding up to that 30 grams of protein, which means that you're not getting whole protein, you're getting amino acids. Amino acids are great for your trial recovery after a workout, whether you went for a run or you lifted weights, whatever your, whatever your shtick may be, whatever your fitness passion is, amino acids are great for recovery, but they're not great as a replacement for protein. So I recommend people do not get this product. I gave it a low grade on taste. I gave it a, I gave it a low grade on every point on that you could think of. And it's mostly because of the fact that the company basically threw a bunch of stuff in a, a package and said, here you go, which is very disappointing. I was very underwhelmed with the product. And I have to say to people, if you're going to get a protein, this is not the protein. So we're gonna wrap this up and I'm gonna let you know, you wanna stay tuned because our next supplement video, I'm gonna show you a protein that is a good protein blend. And then after that, we're gonna show you individual proteins, powders that you can use. But I wanted to start out with a protein that I don't recommend so you understand where we're coming from when we explain things. This is Josh Hennig, thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button and I recommend you share with your friends and family to let them know what is really behind the ingredients in protein. Catch you next time.